I've had to make a decision to spend more money than I really want to. And uh, I've been having trouble with my laptop, which is my main computer. So I made a decision to get a pretty sophisticated Apple laptop. And in doing so, I decided that I, well, let me back up a step. Back, back. Um, in the past, I have bought refurbished laptops through some authorized Apple uh, dealers or or um, establishments, stores, whatever, representatives, I guess I can say. This time I went directly with Apple because I wanted something newer, but I still went with the refurbished route. And here comes the truck. Okay, let's get this thing opened. Much easier. And I got another MacBook Pro. This one is a slightly smaller. form factor. I was used to what they had, had classified as a 15 inch. This is a 14 inch. Um, and I believe they're measuring diagonally on the screen size. But this screen has uh, less of a bezel around it. Hello. And now I'm going to have to learn what all I have to do to get my old information into my new laptop. So we'll be back. Stay tuned. Hi there, we're back. So I migrated my info from the old laptop, MacBook Pro, 
I forget the year, I want to say it was about a 2013, if I remember correctly, to the new one, 2023. Both I bought refurbished. The old one, 15 inch diagonal, 14 inch diagonal, but the form factor is greatly different. This one, a lot more compact. Keyboard is virtually the same size. The trackpad on the new one is larger. Being new, it feels a whole lot crisper and cleaner and anyway, nice, nice to use. Um, but screen wise, uh, Not much difference there because there's a bezel around the actual screen on this, which kind of shrinks the picture down a little bit. So this one appears bigger overall, but it isn't that big of a difference when you look at the 14 inch compared to the 15 inch. Speakers, um, smaller speaker area on, on the smaller form factor. The speakers on this I have abused greatly over the time that I've had this. It wasn't new when I got it. I didn't get this directly from Apple. I got it through an Apple authorized center that refurbished probably trade-ins and things like that it was wonderful when i got it 16 gig ram one terabyte uh internal hard drive ssd um and it served me very very well up until about two years ago it started giving me some problems i think maybe programs, apps, whatever you want to call them, kept getting a little bit more sophisticated, eating more power. 16 RAM, uh, 16 gig RAM is just not enough for the things that I do. <sighs> Music production or creation, picture, Editing takes a lot of power. Video editing is massive power. And this computer was not performing the way I need a computer to perform. I did get a desktop built for me. Um, and I don't remember exactly what that has right off the top. I want to say about 64 gig RAM, I think. This one has 96 gig RAM and a four terabyte SSD internal drive. Wow. Um, I can't foresee, and I might eat my words later, but I can't foresee me ever really outgrowing this computer. This has the new M2 Max chip, so totally different uh, computing chip technology. Um, this is an Apple design versus an Intel, I think, design, if I remember correctly, and I don't remember which one this has. Besides that, I'm looking for performance, and I think this is going to do it for me. So. Picture quality. Um, little nicer graphics. 
little more clarity. It took about four hours to migrate my information over, um, plus a couple of little things that I had to do on the new computer. But I just wanted to share with you that I had to spend way too much money on upgrading to a computer that I think is gonna serve my needs vastly better. This, this computer, I'd be in the middle of something and it would just shut down. It just, it was overpowering the computer, the, the things that I was asking it to do. But I shouldn't have that kind of a problem with this. Um, so, thank you for watching. If you haven't yet, please subscribe. And there's a little bell right down over there that you could click on so that you could be notified the next time I post a video. Could be taking a look at something that I just get. It could be a music video where the Native American style flute kind of takes center stage in everything I do. Could be solo. It could be, or it could be a music video where the flute is solo. It could be with many other different types of instruments. Uh, it could be a tutorial on how to play the Native American style flute. It could be a tutorial on how I make my videos. I've got some of those already in, in uh, my catalog. I've got hundreds of videos. Uh, the, this is one that I just, it's, it's from a playlist of 31 videos that I took at Flutestock 2023. Those are all on my channel also. Um, this one happens to be featuring Timothy J.P. Gomez, friend and uh, fellow flute artist that is somebody that I really look up to, wonderful player. And he did a brand new song for us that he has just released. If you haven't checked it out yet, please do. It's called 22 Degree Halo. Love it. Thanks for watching. I hope you have a fantastic day. Take care.